folks. Harry here for Hardcore Quartz Updates and Reviews. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review on a film called Screen Kill, aka Snuff Kill. Um, I got a tip on this one from a friend online saying I needed to check this film out. It looked like a shot on video shit fest, but I was very surprised by this film. Um, it was made in the mid 90s, I think 94, 95. Um, the story is about a guy that's like one of us, gore hound, who loves gory movies uh, and goes and sees a band with his girlfriend. Uh, and this guy in this band is kind of like an Alice Cooper type of band where he does some really gory effects up on stage when he's playing. And the gore hound. Um, suggests, suggests that they make a um, gory movie, uh, a splatter film. Uh, so the guy agrees and they start shooting this film and um, when the guy, when it comes up to the kill scene, the guy's actually killing people on film, making snuff films. And the gore hound kind of goes along with it. Uh, first he's kind of reluctant, but as the film progresses, he slowly gets as crazy almost as uh, the guy doing all the killing. Uh, it was a cool story. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a really cool um, uh, idea. Um, it, it, it was low budget film, but the gore effects were just top notch. Just really, really over the top gore in this. Uh, lots of really cool splatter. I mean, they didn't have a lot of money. And the, the copy that I had, the audio was off, but yeah, I usually turns me off, but I couldn't turn it off. It was just a very cool film, very, very cool effects. Uh, I, I'd never heard of it before, and I, uh, I think it's virtually impossible to find a copy of it. So if you guys want to see this film, uh, message me on Facebook, and I'll see if I can maybe get you a copy. Um, because I even looked for the VHS, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so it's extremely rare. Uh, like I said, it goes under two titles, Snuff Kill and Screen Kill, so if you can find a copy of it, I'd hang on to it. But yeah, I highly recommend this film. It's very gory, really cool story. Um, the acting was okay, the music was okay, typical 90s, like shot on video type of stuff, but the gore was just very well done and it had a really cool idea. Um, like with this guy doing like... Uh, Actually, the special effects were really killing people in a, in a horror film, So, uh, which was done, I think, uh, in a later film, uh, I think with David Hess played, I can't remember the name of that film, but they used that idea in that film, kind of ripped this off. But that's my review on Screen Kill, and have a worry one.